Welcome to Board Game Nation. My name is Gary Blevins. Thank you so much for watching. I recently had the amazing opportunity to talk with legendary game designer Larry Harris. In our conversation, we talked about his 40-year career where he developed more than 200 games for some of the biggest names in the industry. His most famous game? Axis and Allies. Since the original game came out in 1984, it has spawned more than 20 spin-offs and updates, three of which were inducted into the Adventure Board Game Hall of Fame in 1996. Axis and Allies has been one of my favorite games for decades, and it was a thrill to meet the original designer. But given how difficult it is to face the horrors of war, I was curious how, from a game design point of view, he navigates asking players to play on the side of the Germans during World War II. Let's hear what he had to say about it. I love to talk trash at the table as much as the next guy, but uh, I've always felt a little weird about it when I play the Germans. Uh, you know, what do you what do you say? You know, um, it feels a little, I don't know. You're you're rooting for the bad guy, right? So as a as a game designer, how do you how do you handle that, right? So you're you're asking a player to root for a historically awful, horrific character. Um, how particularly how, particularly the Nazis, right? Exactly. So, so how do you deal with that as a game, from a game design point of view? Here's how I do it. Um, I, make, I take the politics out of Axis and Allies. Um, it is the German army. The German army. If I need a hero from Germany, you know, Rommel is always handy. You know? he, uh, he turned out to be not such a great Nazi after all. And, and, and he's got all kinds of sex appeal in, in terms of, uh, of the Desert Fox in North Africa and, and all that. And the, um, the Africa Corps and so on. Uh, so uh, I, that's the realm and that's where I limit it with Axis and Allies is that this is a military uh, simulation. Uh, it's, a, it's a military game. So play it. Don't get into the politics of it. If you win, you are not now going to uh, uh, activate Nazi uh, philosophy, right? Right. Yeah, and that's that's kind of how I've approached it and explained it to others. Is that you know the game is a is a it's a it's a military thought experiment, right? Um, and you know it's worth noting that that no version of Axis and Allies that that I've ever seen that was printed. I've seen, uh, you know, aftermarket people have done some things, but uh, I've never seen a, a box of Axis and Allies out of the box have a swastika in it. And, and I think that, you know, obviously it was a, you know, that symbol was significant in World War II and to, to leave it out is a choice. And I think that that choice uh, speaks a lot to what this game is trying to accomplish. Yeah, I think I think uh, there is a, a swastika out there um, in one of the boxes in a very early uh, Milton Bradley game, probably the first edition. Wow. That was gotten rid of uh, immediately uh, when it, you know it became an issue. Right. Boom! That swastika was gone, and with uh, it, it it, uh, it just disappeared quickly. So. Um, so there, there was a mistake made originally, and there was a swastika. I just wanted to clarify that. Sure. Point that out to you. Yeah. Well, I actually have a first edition of the game. I'm have to go back and look and see if I can. Well, I think in a rule book there, you'll you'll see uh, this swastika behind this 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 very evil looking German officer. And, and anyway, uh, but that um, that was uh, that was ignorance more than anything else. Right, right, for sure. Well, yeah, and I, I appreciate that. So, and I'm I'm glad that they were able to make that make that determination and, and make that correction as as quickly as they did. Uh, well, I, I, I was surprised by that question. I'm surprised by that question. Uh, it's a it's a it's a great question. I thank you for asking it. And uh, I've struggled with it, and uh, I am aware of what you're talking about. And uh, so. To sum it up again, just to say, I took the politics out of it. History, history should be able to go. I'm having a problem with. I want to do. A, I have been thinking about doing a civil war game, uh, a, an Axis and Allies civil war game. And um, <clears throat> frankly, uh, I don't know how the economy would work. The North is like ten times the uh, industrial power that the South is, and so on, so on, so on, and. 
I really don't feel like uh, sitting down playing uh, a game with that damn uh, stars and bars. I just don't want it in my life. And uh, so, and I don't want to promote that. And so I said to myself, uh, I don't, I'm not going to do a Civil War game. So, uh, so yeah, politics and so on in, in, in uh, human, human, uh, human rights and so on, uh, they play a role. And all of us, they should, at least. Absolutely. Again, a big thank you to Larry Harris for taking the time to sit down and talk with us. If you want to see more from that interview, click here. If you're ready to watch the whole thing, here's your link. And if you want to see everything going on with Board Game Nation, click here to subscribe. Again, my name is Gary Blevins. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.